Hey everyone, gonna talk about Mango Juice. Um, now to clarify, the upcoming Mango Tournament is actually not Mango Juice 2, but it's called simply the Mango. Now Mango Juice 2 is something still in the works. Um, I believe that Mango Juice 2 will be a lot larger in scale compared to what the Mango is. And to give a little bit of clarification on the tournament series, um, the Mango is gonna run, run roughly like every quarter and it's gonna lead into a bigger Mango Juice 2 next year. Um, so this is just to uh, create a larger tournament series for SoCal, which is something we sorely miss. We have a lot of awesome weeklies. We have Friday Night Turnip, we have Nimbus, and we have a bunch of other stuff scattered through SoCal throughout the week, but we don't really have that big like monthly tournament anymore like we used to. So a very fortunate champ and the 2GG team are help running this event. Um, for a while, actually, Red Bull wanted to run, help run this event, but they shifted the responsibility over to Champ's crew. And a lot of people know Champ and 2GG from the 2GG series for Smash 4, and they think of 2GG as primarily um, a Smash 4 event slash host, but Champ had his roots in Melee, and he was a Melee player. He used to play Fox, and in fact, an old school um, an old school combo used to be named after Champ, the Champ combo, and that's a dash attack into up tilt into up throw, um, dash attack into up tilt into up air. Um, so that used to be called the Champ combo, and there was a tournament series actually called the Champ combo and the Super Champ combo, which were pretty impressive events. Now, um, to give a little bit of history, Mango Juice 1 uh, was in 09, so this was after Mango was known as one of the best players. He probably actually was after he defeated Muta King multiple times. And this is actually during a time where Mango started to dabble in um, other characters. And he did that because a lot of people disrespected his Jigglypuff and it invalidated his skill. Um, a lot of people thought he was a one trick gimmick um, because he played Jigglypuff and no one knew how to play against her. And this is actually very similar to Hungrybox today. So a lot of people, you know, who are a little bit newer, are like, why does everybody love Mango? Why does everybody hate Hungrybox? Well, to be fair, a uh, character has to do a lot with it. And even Mango, who's seen as this really popular person right now, um, actually got a lot of hate um, in the older days, especially from the East Coast, because he played Jigglypuff and won with her. A lot of people said, like, he isn't actually that good. And that if you played real characters, um, you know, he'd get whooped kind of similar to what we perceive of Hungry Box today, actually. Um, so we saw his you know, secondaries come in. And to give a little bit of history with Mango Juice, um, we had a lot of California events in SoCal and NorCal. And SoCal and NorCal had a um, pretty intense rivalry. And we had a lot of like funny sounding tournament names, like where it would be themed around one player. So for example, we had like Night Shot Hugo, Don't Go Down There Jeff. Um, the names kind of like run past my head. Um, there were the FUD Rockers tournaments, and we also had Mango Juice. So we had a bunch of these like themed tournaments where SoCal would go up to NorCal, or NorCal would go down to SoCal, and they would compete. And if you guys watch, like NorCal and SoCal used to have a lot of bad blood, a lot of trash talk, um, especially in even in doubles. Man, it was very intense the amount, of, the number of people who were just spouting out like things that would not pass in uh, 2018's esports world. Um, so it was pretty interesting, you know, if we were to look back at the time, like Lucky, Mango, and um, Zoo were the heavy hitters in SoCal, and in NorCal, um, Pink Shinobi and Silent Spectre um, were the heavy hitters um, in NorCal. And there were, you know, a bunch of, you know, great players that would make it far in majors, but um, in terms of the people who were, like, favorite to win, it was those players. So some interesting storylines that come up in this tournament was that um, Silent Spectre was, like, the the NorCal contender that everybody believed that could compete with Mango. And at this particular event in 09, like, Silent Spectre actually got very close to defeating Mango, both in winner's bracket and in grand, final, in grand finals. Mango started off with Puff in winner's finals. And strangely enough, I believe it was like just a best of three. And I think that was due to time constraints. Or I think we ran a lot of like best of threes until very late. Leffen would not be very happy, by the way, with the format of how things ran back in the day. Yeah, and then um, Silent Spectre ended up taking uh, Mango to last uh, last stock um, game three, and those sets were really close. Now, strangely enough, um, Zoo actually did defeat Silent Spectre in losers finals but despite winning the set he actually allowed silent specter to play grand finals 
to just have the rematch. And back then, um, it was a lot more casual, so like, um, not too many people were upset by that because um, Zoo and Mango used to play all the time, and Zoo would just get whooped. So I think Zoo just kind of figured, well, I'm gonna lose anyway. Like, it's gonna be not very pretty. So like, Silent Spectre, we don't get to see you play against Mango that much, so we're gonna give you a shot. And I believe that set went to game five. It was pretty close um, overall in terms of, um, it was pretty close, like it went back and forth. And I think game one was like Fox versus Falcon and Mango won that. And then Mango played Falcon Dittos for the next four games and they split those two two, but Mango ended up winning the set three two. So for those people who are wondering, well, like is the two GG curse still real? At least in Melee, Mango won his own event. So technically no. <laughs> so there's that. Um, interesting to note, we also had a fifth place match between Lucky and Ford, where Ford actually won the first two games and Lucky reverse, uh, reversed 3-0'd um, Ford, so Ford actually got sixth place, or the Bobby Scar placement. And I think there was some other interesting stuff, like you saw, we saw Taj's Mewtwo against Jeff, or Silent Spectre, and we also saw the infamous moment where Wobbles lost it. I don't want to put Wobbles on blast, but... Um, Silent Spectre played Wobbles, and that led to the infamous like controller toss, where I believe Silent Spectre was up like three socks to one on Yoshi's story, and um, Wobbles just quit out and threw his controller. And um, that was like one of the few mo like iconic moments where everyone just went silent. And you hear in the commentary if you watch the video, like sound like everyone just going dead quiet, and you hear the controller like just like slam on the ground, and then homemade Waffles just goes like. I guess Jeff won the match. <laughs> so um, that's a little bit of history to Mango Juice. Um, it's Mango Juice 2, you know, it had a sub goal that passed like many years ago along with the Mango Cruise and other Mango sub goals. And now we're at the point where we can run the event. So we have to give kudos to Champ for uh, help running this event. It's gonna be at the same venue as Nimbus. And uh, you know, if you guys know Champ, Champ works so hard and to run a good production. And I'm actually gonna be helping out as much as I can to make sure that things are gonna run well. And I'm gonna to try to experiment with commentary and giving stats. So I'm gonna see if I can overlay a few things and see if there's other cool stuff. So yeah, um, so it's gonna be in mid-March, the first, the mango, but there's gonna be more to come. And it's gonna lead into hopefully a big Mango Juice 2 next year in 2019. I'm very looking forward to it. I think it's really cool. And I hope that you guys are very excited as well.